Hi everyone, I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. This is also Vlogmas, so I'm posting a video every day for the month of December. If you've been following along for Vlogmas, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, I'll post up above my introduction to Vlogmas video where I talk a little bit about what this is, what I'm doing, uh, so just click on that I if you're interested. Today's video is going to be a comparison of two polishes, um, two of Zoya's black pixie dust polishes. I love the Pixie Dust formula. For those of you who don't know, it is a textured polish, so it dries matte and it has a lot of glitter in it, and those glitters, you know, really stick out. They really shine off the nail because it has that matte um, drying finish. So we're gonna talk about Zoya's two black pixie dusts. These are Dahlia and Imogen. If you've never seen a comparison video of mine before, I am going to show you swatch photos of both of these polishes, tell you a little bit about them, and then also show you them close up compared on swatch sticks, and also bring in other polishes from Zoya's collection to kind of show you a little bit more about these polishes. All right, so the first of these two is Imogen, and Imogen is the magical pixie dust of these two. The magical pixie dusts have the bigger hex glitter, which you can see all over the bottle here. Um, they're pretty big particles of glitter. It also has some smaller micro glitters in there as well, and they all are silver. So Imogen is described by Zoya as a black crystal magical pixie dust textured with holographic hex glitter. And I'm showing you two coats of Imogen built up here. And I think you could probably do a third coat if you want even more of that hex glitter. I had a little bit of trouble getting this one to dry, so I was hesitant to do a third coat, um, which is why you're just seeing two coats of this one. All right, and then the traditional pixie dust here is Dahlia. And Dahlia is the traditional pixie dust with the smaller glitter particles in that kind of matte jelly base. And Dahlia is described by Zoya as a black beauty with sugared sparkle in the exclusive Zoya Pixie Dust Textured Matte Sparkle Formula. So it's not a great description. Um, this one I really like. It looks almost uh, like charcoal gray on the nail. All right, so here are Dahlia and Imogen. And in here, I think you can really see the super fine glitter in Dahlia. And it looks almost gray or charcoal gray in some lights. And Imogen, because you can see so much of the black base, since the glitters are so much bigger, you can see those hexes right there in the center, uh, Imogen does look a lot more black. In the bottle, they look like they have the same base, and I believe that they do, but because of the super fine glitters in Dahlia and the way they dry down matte, you really see this kind of charcoal effect instead of the super black base in Imogen. But just to compare, here is London, which is truly a dark gray pixie dust. And Dahlia does look a lot darker and a lot more black than London, but I would say it still looks a little bit gray here. And then just for fun, I wanna bring in Storm because I think Storm looks in the bottle almost like it is Dahlia, but shiny. They look very similar, but you can see that Storm has a lot less glitter distribution than Dahlia, which makes sense because it is a scattered hollow. They are totally different finish but I thought it would be interesting to compare given that they look so similar in the bottle. So I think all four of these are super different. I am definitely glad that I own both Dahlia and Imogen because I think they have a very different effect on the nail and I really like them both. Okay, awesome. Let's talk about some final thoughts here. Um, I really like both of these polishes. The one that feels the most wearable to me is definitely Dahlia, the smaller one. Um, this one, I like that it's basically like a super dark gray. It's almost like a charcoal gray. Um, so it's not quite black, right? I thought it was basically gonna look like storm but matte on my nails, but that's not what happened. <laughs> that's not what it looks like. It's much grayer once it dries matte. So I really like this one. I was kind of surprised, honestly, that I liked it as much as I did. So that's one that was my favorite. I think Imogen is fun. I just don't love the huge hex particles. It's not my favorite thing to wear. It's not gonna be easy for me to wear. So I think Dahlia is more wearable and therefore my favorite. Awesome, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something in this video. These polishes I think are great to wear for the holidays, for the winter, maybe as an accent nail or as a full manicure, whatever you wanna do. So I hope that you learned something. Um, maybe you have one of these in your collection, you're gonna pull it out. Let me know what you thought of this video and which one of these is your favorite down below. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, especially this month. I am posting a video every single day for the month of December, but my normal upload schedule is every Saturday, Wednesday, and every other Sunday. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.